a gnome who calls himself Diggleff Rocket? Yes, this is Diggleff Rocket. Can I help you? I saw your live stream video asking for donations for a gnome children's charity. Oh, you did? Did you enjoy it? Would you like to make a donation? Donation? Why, well, you're nothing but a common cheap crook. A cheap crook? What? I happen to know that all the money donated was used to buy whiskey for you. Do you deny it? What? That's nothing but a bold-faced lie. The Dickle F. Walker Foundation received their money after my expenses. What expenses? Well, there's handling charges, plus my salary, of course. And how much is your so-called handling charges and salary? It's only 90%. The rest goes to the needy gnomes. 90%? You should be hanged. Hanged? Oh my god! Who is this? Never mind who I am. I am going to see that justice is served, that you get everything you deserve. Everything I deserve? Look, I don't know who you are, but I did nothing wrong. It's perfectly legal. Tickle that flocket, you will pay for your crimes. Are you crazy? Get off my phone or I'll call the cops. At the stroke of midnight, beware of the Avenger. Midnight Avenger? <laughs> what a crackpot. Imagine that clown calling Dickel a flock at dishonest! <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh no! The lights went out! You're not afraid of the dark, are you? What's that noise? Hello? Anybody there? You're going to die in there. My name is Donkey Tina, and I'm going to kill you. You're looking at a cabinet of a 1937 airline radio made by Montgomery Ward. This cabinet has been sitting in my garage for years. The poor thing has no chassis. Aww. So I decided to make a chassis for this cabinet. You know, something different than the usual recap. Turn it around. You might be asking, why this radio? It's certainly nothing special. Yeah. Anyway, the chassis is a pretty simple 5-tube radio, so I can probably put this together with parts from my junk radios and order any parts I need. Will this be easy? Who knows? This whole project will be and experimenting with Buzz series, and I'll take you all along for the ride. Some people call this the Indian Head Radio because of this cutout here. Supposedly, this is the Indian facing left. Here is his uh, chin, and this is supposed to be, I guess, his nose, and maybe that's war paint here, this thing. And you can see the maybe the feathers. What do you think? I don't believe it. Maybe, maybe not. Here are some of the parts I've got. Now some of these I ordered, some of these I had in my junk stock. I ordered these new old stock uh, sockets. I'm gonna have to drill holes and uh, put these in and uh, completely rewire it since I'm doing it from scratch. This I had in my junk pile. Uh, I bought this from Radio Days. It's a little dial. Reproduction. Why, that's real good, whatever it is. I had to order a uh, speaker. This, is, this uses a field coil speaker I got. This transformer is from a junk radio. And I ordered this uh, piece of sheet metal for the chassis. Nice! I've been trying to determine uh, what uh, size I need for the chassis. So I made this template. This is one of many. This is the one I'm going to go with. And these two holes uh, are for the tuning and the uh, on-off switch. So this pretty much is going to work. 
like this. Whatever. The uh, tuning uh, condenser is almost the right size because it's going to be right here. I've got to center that perfectly, so I might have to shim it up a little bit so it's centered in that window there. Anyway, this and this is nine by uh, eight and a half, and this is nine by nine. So I'm going to have to take off a half inch here. Now I don't have a saw to cut that, so I'm going to uh, use some tin snips and see if I can cut it that way. So let me get this cut. We'll get back to you, and then we can bend this into a chassis if that's possible. Don't go away. Well, I've taken the uh, template and measured, and I've got the uh, piece of metal scribed on each side, so it matches that. So I take a half an inch off here. I used the uh, tin snips, took them off in sections and smooth it down a little bit so it's all ready to bend. Then do it! Now, I don't know how this is going to come out but I hope it's going to work. Well here's my bender brake from Harbor Freight. It's cheap but they should do the job. You just stick the metal here. You put this bar here and you clamp it. Once it's clamped, you uh, move this up and bend it. So let me get this uh, lined up and we'll bend it. First time. Never did this before. Well, there it is, clamped up. See if I can do this. There's two handles here, one here, one here. And you're just supposed to push it up. It's kind of hard. Put your hip into it. <laughs> Seems like it's better if I just hold it like this. As you can see, it's bending. Pull, Whitey, pull! <laughs> Okay, let's see what it looks like. Bent a little bit too much. But we'll worry about that after I get the other side bent. Okay, let's try it again. Nobody said the job was going to be easy. The mighty chicken had done it again. Looks a little bit like a chassis, huh? Oh, brother! Well, now it's time to uh, drill out the holes for the sockets. Ah! Plus the transformer and uh, the other stuff. Now the only information on the chassis I got on this is from a YouTube video. Well, hi and uh, welcome to my shop. And from that I sketched out where the tube locations are. So according to this, the transformer is going to go here. 41 tube goes here. 78 tube goes here. 6A7 tube goes here. 75 tube here and the 5Y tube in front of the transformer plus we have a speaker connection that goes here I, I, I really don't know what you're talking about the uh, tuning capacitor goes here and we got the IF cans once you go here 
and one goes caddy corner to it right there. Let's get an overhead shot of that and see what it looks like. Well, it almost looks like a chassis, huh? Yeah, right. So that's approximately where I should be here. So I better get to work and uh, start drilling. Now let's get to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You big dummy. Take two. Well, the 50-year-old drill is pretty hot, but it did the job. Well, looks like Peanut the dog wants to say hello. Want to say hi to everybody, Peanut? Yeah, you're so sweet. What a sweet dog. Well, here's the chassis with all six holes drilled. The screw up here is the one right down here. <laughs> now this one here doesn't have any holes for the screws because it's a speaker socket mm -hmm. and doesn't use the holes. Is that so? But drilling out these holes here, I had a hell of a time. I ordered some uh, cheap Chinese drills <laughs> from eBay. Here's one of them. Oh, brother. A little bit bent out of shape. And here's, here's another one. I only drilled one hole. And I'll show you a close-up of how this bit looks after just one hole. Holy mackerel. Anyway, let's put the first socket in. Has anyone ever told you you're as boring as you are ugly? 
and you can look through that till your eyes ache and you won't find a hole in it. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of them in. Oh, there's the sockets completed. What do you make of that? <laughs> she cut me. Didn't look that way a minute ago. It's really coming along, isn't it? One of the most important things I gotta do on this is to drill two holes here for the volume and the tuning. The tuning's gotta go up here. So let's stick that there. Let's see if I can drill those holes out without messing up. Okay, we've got two holes drilled. Let's see if it lines up. Bingo. That looks pretty good. Okay, this hole here is for the uh, tuning. And this sleeve goes in here. This goes in here. And it's secured by this clip here. And this shaft here has got a C-clip holding it. So this goes here. The string wraps around here and it goes around the shaft. I put a volume control in here. This is temporary. I need a 1K control and this is a 500, so at least we can tell if it lines up right. Yeah, it's going to go like that. Excellent, sir. Excellent. And this has got to line up dead center in the middle of the, uh, the window here. And I outlined the tuning cap right here. And this is where the holes are going to go. So I'm going to drill this. Hopefully that'll work. Well, there's the three holes. I put them in a slot like that so I can have some play in it. Move it back and forth. So what I did was I figured I'm going to need about two nuts worth. This is so nuts. A spacer's there. Let me get that together and we'll see if it lines up okay. Okay, I've got the, the nuts here. You can see how much space is in there. That's just about what I need. Now I'm gonna mount the dial here on something like this. This is silly. It'll probably use a thin metal and it's gonna attach something like that. Now, I'm not going to use this dial pointer, but I'm going to use this to secure it in this hole here. And let's see if that lines up in the cabinet. You sure this will work? It'll work. That looks pretty good. Up next is I'm going to make a frame for this dial like this cardboard here. I'm gonna use this. I bought this at Ace Hardware. It's some type of a flashing. Blimey! And it's really thin, so hopefully I'll be able to uh, use this and then cut a hole in it. Okay, here's my progress. This real thin piece here has been secured with screws. 
and a little brace here. This dial is going to be uh, glued on this piece. And it's pretty much centered there. Let's see what it looks like in the cabinet. Although it don't look pretty, I think it's going to work. Okay, later, I'm going to have to figure out how to put this on here. Maybe a piece extending up here or from the bottom here. So that's right in the middle there. But I'll worry about that later. I'll worry about that when the time comes. Okay, next I'm going to put the transformer in. So we got to drill holes. <laughs> Dead Nettie, I'm trying to sleep! So what made you do such a thing? Uh, please don't ask me anything. I don't know anything about it. I, uh... Well, the time has come for the dreaded string on this tuning capacitor. Now I'm not going to do it on camera because I'll probably end up cussing and I don't want anybody to hear me cuss. You jerk! So let me see if I can do this. If I succeed, you shall see. Well that took about half hour. This is looking real good. A lot better than I ever expected to tell you the truth. It don't look quite right but as long as it works, I ain't going to worry about it. Now that that's done, what I think I'll do, because this video is running kind of long, is I think I'll wire up all the tubes and uh, see if all the tubes light. Then we'll call it quits for this episode. What do you think, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I've got the uh, 6.3 volts hooked up here. Need to hook up the 5 volts to the rectifier. Okay, the tubes are wired. Let's put the tubes in and power this on. See, uh, see if they light. Okay, it's time for the tubes. What's the matter? Can't you find a hole? Can't see the holes there. There we go. Alright, let's plug that sucker in. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Fire it up, Doc. Now it's wired up right, so I'm just gonna... There's 30 volts. 60. 90. 100, 120. Let's get a close up of the tubes. It looks like it's lit. Let me turn the light out. Well, what do you know? Congratulations! Now please excuse me while I go take a shower. Looks good. Let's turn the volume up and see if we get anything. Oh! <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> well, that's a start. Uh, let's turn it over and take a voltage reading. Okay, we'll check the uh, the six volts. See if we got that. Six point five. Check the five volts up here. Right on the money. See what the high voltage is on it. Be careful. 
500 volts. Of course, there's no load on it, so now let's check the DC coming out of the center tap. Two forty-five with no load. Not bad. Well, you got to consider everything I've done is success, even though I screwed up a couple times. What are you saying? The next uh, episode, I'm going to continue uh, putting all the components in here, and uh, looks like we'll be able to uh, try it out and see if we get any reception. I hope so. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, let me know. Or if you didn't like it, let me know and uh, I'll go back to doing uh, regular radio videos. So until next time, this is Buzz. Have a good one. That's it. I'm out of here.